Hello, welcome to our second part of uh, on how to create landscapes. So this is now part two, but it's kind of like the third version on uh, me showing you how to create a landscape or how to get started with creating landscapes in Unreal Engine. Um, and now we're actually starting to use some, um, you know, uh, outside software uh, uh, to to create some stuff. So one of the things that you can do in Unreal Engine is you can import height maps. Now a height map is a black and white image that um, can be translated in uh, elevation information. So you you can get uh, uh, elevation maps from from different websites. Um, there there uh, um, there used to be a website called Terrain Party. I think the website still exists, but I'm, I, I don't think it's functioning anymore. So, um, but there are other uh, places online where you can, um, you know, from geo surveys to NASA, uh, you know, you can get height maps of, of, you know, areas in planet Earth and, and you know, potentially even Mars, etc., uh, that you can possibly import. But one uh, other way of doing it is by using, uh, you know, a software that creates it for you. And uh, there are multiple softwares around. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull some up here. There is, you know, what, what we are using here right now is is Quad Spinner Gaia. Uh, another fairly popular one is uh, World Creator and uh, another one would be World Machine. Um, I, I have not used World Machine. I have I've, uh, used World Creator and I've used uh, Gaia. I like Gaia very much, so uh, that's what I'm uh, going to use now. And I'll just quickly show you how to create a terrain in, in Gaia and then, and then move it over into uh, Unreal Engine. So we are going to start off with uh, a, a, a very simple um, canyon right here. So this is a node system. So I'm just, you know, here are all the different nodes. I'm just going to create a canyon node right here. And you see immediately our, our mesh starts to transform. And, you know, this really right out of the, out of the box is starting to look actually quite impressive. So, uh, in this case, though, I'm, I'm you know gonna widen this out to to create more of a valley kind of situation, and I think I'm I'm just gonna leave it right here. So um, so and we we could literally just start using this here. I mean, it's pretty good the way it is, but I'm just gonna refine this a little bit here. Let me find another node. Let's see looking for a node called stacks there it is just gonna plug this in here so we're just gonna, gonna plug this node in and you can see what's happened so this is rounded our rocks a little bit you know from before so it's a little bit more eroded and you know we can right here make certain adjustments if we like so we have to apply the changes depending on the node so you can play around with this. Um, the more you play with it, the more you will kind of get used to, you know, what the different tools do. But it's the the, the possibilities are almost infinite here because you can see all the different nodes that you can plug in. And then finally, usually always you want to. I mean, not not. <laughs> there's there's no rule, but uh, uh, I have a tendency to always put on some sort of erosion. Uh, ultimately, you know, before finishing it. So here is just the plain erosion out of the box and you can see how, how this just changed. So, um, and again, we can, you know, adjust here the strength of that erosion. So this looks pretty good for our test. By the way, we're only looking at this at a half K resolution. Um, it, it, you know, we can, we can put this up to 4K, but it would take a little bit, you know, slow down the system. There's no need for this right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna export this here. So um, we will we'll come back to this and uh, you know deal with color and texture uh, at another time. But right now, um, all we're interested in is, is you know creating the landscape mesh itself. So we are 
I'm going to right click on my last node and I'm going to mark this for export. Um, and you know, this little yellow uh, dot has shown up, so now it's marked for export. And we're going to go here into build. And so here is a few settings that are rather important that we're going to have to do. So, um, so first off, um, so here is our here is our export now. This is our erosion node marked for export. And um, I'm honestly not 100% sure if uh, uh, Unreal can accept TIFFs. I'm gonna, I'm guessing not. Um, so I'm gonna switch this over to a PNG, uh, which is right here. I know it can take some of the raw file formats too, but um, I, I, mean, I know for sure that the 16-bit PNG is gonna be fine. So one thing that's really important here is that is the is the bit depth now because uh, remember height map is an image. Um, let let me just show you a height map. So let's see. I'm just gonna try and find some from here. Give me a sec. Okay, so right here. Um, these, this is actually a height map. This is actually a terrain just like this. And, you know, it doesn't look like much. Um, but it's a, it's a black and white image. And uh, this image has all of this height information in it that we need to, to, you know, create this here. So this is actually, this is a very similar terrain that I just did, uh, you know, for, for the purpose of this tutorial. And, um, and you can see the lower parts are darker and the the higher more elevated parts are brighter right here and you could actually take this into photoshop and just adjust the contrast and by adjusting the contrast you're going to actually adjust the elevation for example but um but the thing is that if if you have an 8-bit file then what you are going to introduce is you know in this gradation right here you're going to introduce banding and uh there's a really good chance that like the monitor i'm working on right now for example is 8-bit and if you spend attention and yours is 8-bit too which you know it likely is um you, you're actually going to be able to see this banding right here so you gonna see right how how this is not a smooth transition you're gonna see these steps and that would not be a good thing for us because if we would select right here PNG 8-bit this banding is gonna be baked into this image and what's gonna happen is we're going to get a landscape that has stepping in it because you know that stepping is visible in an 8-bit image so that's not what we want we're gonna take the 16-bit one so uh, we're going to switch this to 16-bit and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, you know adjust our our we can leave this on normal build there's a way to split this up and tile it so we're just going to leave this on normal uh, but we're going to adjust our resolution so and here again um, it's notable that we have here different resolutions for different purposes so there's a standard resolution. This um, goes actually all the way up to 16K. Um, if your machine can handle that, that's good. Uh, a lot of machines will not be able to handle uh, 16K terrains. Um, but uh, you know we're going to work with with 4K, which is generally 4096. But in Unreal Engine because of the way these clusters work um, that you know in, in the last tutorial I showed you a link to the uh, to, to the uh, um, to the uh, uh, setup for the different resolutions there's an explanation on why why this is in there so you see right there there is um, uh, uh, unreal uh, wanted actually a 4033 now the 4096 is still gonna work in there but um, what you're essentially doing is you're doubling up on pixels, um, you know, in 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 a certain sequence that is unnecessary. So the machine is calculating more unnecessary information. So Unreal wants this in forty 
4033. You see right now for Unreal the maximum export is um, 8K. We're gonna stick to 4K uh, right now. I just don't need any more at, at this point uh, for this demo. And so I'm just gonna select this and then we're, we're, we're good in the setup right here. Now all we gotta do is uh, specify where we want this um, export it to. So I'm just gonna put this here somewhere. And it probably, it probably it's, well, it's gonna want me to save this. So I'm just gonna save this right there as well. Okay, now it's um, starting to build this. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so um, if you want to, you can just fast forward this uh, while we're waiting on that build to be complete. Okay, so you see it took about two minutes to build this. Um, the On my other screen, this here popped up and you can see what it's built here. So uh, this is our saved file. And this is our height map right here. And then these other maps uh, can be used for texturing, right? Well, and we'll, we'll do this at some other time. The, the, the map that we're mainly interested in right now is this right here so okay well we are done with Gaia so we can close out of this and I'm just gonna open up Unreal Engine and I've already created a uh, second empty level right here and now we can do the same thing that we did before so we are gonna go into modes and landscape and um, by default the enable edit layers will be turned off uh, as usual and it will probably be you know switched to create new so this is how it's going to look um, but I want to in this case I want to import a file right I want to import a height map so I'm going to turn that on and if you then want to use the same tools that we used last time then you want to enable the edit layer so if you want to use those blueprint tools you can use those on top um, 
and in this case, you know, it, it actually is actually we can see that it's actually grabbing a file that I uh, uh, tried earlier. So, but in this case, I'm just gonna uh, specify this. So this is the one that I just did. So this is the this is the uh, uh, height map that we want to use, and I'm just gonna put this in. And what's gonna happen? Let me reset this here. What's gonna happen is it's gonna come in like this. And you can see that there is a deformation happening. So we have our canyon, but you can also see that you know it's gonna be too flat. Right, this does not look quite right. So here is our scale, and in our C scale, what I, I played around with it, you know, what what uh, roughly works, and you know, adjusting that to 500 seems to kind of like get this to roughly about uh, the right, you know, deformation. You know, it might even be more. Like it could be even 600. So. Let's try 600. So um, the, the 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 size should come in correctly uh, right here. As as before, you can adjust this. If you uh, reduce the scale, you're gonna increase the resolution. Um, so again, this is you know something you can play around with in you know in de depending on how you need it and. All right, so here we go. We're just going to hit import. And it's going to take a second, and then we should have our height map terrain. There it comes. And you instantly see that. So this is now, we're now looking at it in 4K resolution, which in Gaia earlier we did not. So you can see that there is a lot more information in there than we had before. Uh, now, it's not going to hold up you know, to like a super close, uh, you know, if I, if I go right here, you can see that, you know, it's not, you know, it will hold up fine here, but as I'm getting really close, it's going to, you know, get a little softish. But that's because we, we haven't put any textures on there uh, uh, or anything. So once we start working with textures, we can actually work with that. Um, but you see, because I also uh, had the enable editing on, um, so all, all our sculpt tools are available anyway. But also our blueprint tools are available. So if I if I now wanted to, I can start shaping it. I can you know dig into it. I can uh, you know bulge it. Uh, I can smooth stuff. Uh, you can you know wh whatever you want to potentially do if you want to kind of like create an area, smooth an area out for a road that you're going to place in here now, you can do that, right? So um, th there's also certain ways in Gaia where you can do that, uh, but this is probably a lot easier you know, to, to do in here. So um, yeah, so this kind of like concludes our third option on how to create a terrain. Um, so you can see right there, this is, you know, very very uh, uh you know it's, it's a very very good looking terrain in my opinion it's a very good starting point right there to you know to to get to something that uh is is potentially more photo real so i highly recommend that you use one of those uh you know uh, uh creation tools be this gaia or world creator or world machine uh my experience with gaia has been the best and if you also, if you are a student, uh, you can get a student discount from them. So you just gotta contact them and uh, ask for their EDU version, uh, which is fully functional, just uh, less expensive. All right. Uh, so I hope that helped, um, and I'll see you around next time when we start to put some texture on this stuff. Bye bye.